Hi, this is Mike here from mysolarhome.us. This video is about the three most popular solar generators on the market today, the Jackery, the Rockpal, and the EcoFlow. This is a comparison video and I'll compare the three solar generators in great detail, starting with what kind of devices they can power for how long they can power that. Then we'll get into their size, weight, what kind of devices can they power, what are their outputs, USB, AC, etc. how many of them do they have, after that, we look at their displays, what kind of information do their displays provide. Finally, we'll look at how you can charge these devices. Solar, through the wall, maybe cigarette charger. So we look at those options, any special features, and we'll end it all with a full comparison chart showing all three of them and with the various specifications. Let's get started. The Jackery 240 has got 240 watt hours of energy storage. The Rock Pulse is slightly less at 224 watt hours and the EcoFlow is at 288 watt hours. If you notice, they're more or less in the same range in terms of energy storage. So there are two different things. One is the energy storage, the other is the power. So the one on top 240 watt hours is the energy storage and the one on the bottom 200 watts is the power. The energy storage is like the gas tank. So the three of them, they pretty much have similar size, a little bit here and there, but not too different. What's different is how fast you can accelerate. The more power you have, the more devices you can power. Not that you'll be able to power them for longer, but you can power larger devices. For example, with the EcoFlow 288, since it's got 600 watts of power, you can power a desktop, you can power um, a small tool, you can power a blender, whereas with the Jackery and the Rock Paul, you cannot power a blender, which requires 350 watts of power but it's got a pretty small tank like the rest of these guys. So when you use a higher power device with the EcoFlow 288, it's not gonna last very long, maybe 20 minutes or something. Let's look at what these guys can charge, what these guys can power and how long can they power them. I'm looking at smaller devices, a GoPro or an iPhone or a smartphone. We're looking at a DC fan, which is about 10 watts, a car freezer, which you use in your car, use about 40 watts or a laptop. How many times can you charge a laptop? It's about 50 watts or so, or a CPAP machine, which is about 75 watts. Because they have very similar energy storage capacity, it's 48 for the Jackery, charges for the Jackery, 45 for the Rock Balls, and 58 for the EcoFlow, because it's got 288 watt hours of energy storage. This is the 220 and the 240 of the Jackery. In terms of how long you can run that DC fan, pretty much close to 24 hours for the smaller two and slightly longer for the EcoFlow. For the car freezer, you can run it for about six hours for the Jackery and the Rock Balls and about eight hours for the EcoFlow. A laptop, pretty much about five charges. Maybe you can get five and a half charges of the Jackery 240 and the CPAP machine, three to four hours at the max. Let's look at slightly larger devices now, a 50 inch TV. You can run it for about three hours with any of these devices. An Xbox or a drone, maybe a max of two hours for any of them. A fridge, you might be able to run it for two hours and depends on your fridge. Some uh, refrigerators have a high power inrush to get them started. Those might not work with your Jackery 240 or the Rock Pulse 300. They'll definitely work with the EcoFlow 288 because remember, it's got a lot of power. The Jackery and the Rock Flow, they cannot produce more than 200 watts of power continuously, whereas the EcoFlow can produce up to 600 watts of power continuously, but it can produce it for a very little time. So that's why a blender, you can only run it for 0.9 hours. And if you, if you run a power tool of it, maybe you'll only run it for 20 minutes or so. And next, let's look at size and weight. These pictures that I'm showing you are more or less to scale as far as I could get them. They range from the Jackery at 6.6 .6 to 11 pounds for the EcoFlow 288. The length of these units, nine to 11 inches. The thickness is about 5.5 .5 to eight inch, five to eight inches. And the height between seven to nine inches. So they're pretty much very similar in size. They're easy, fairly easy to carry. As you can see, they're extremely rugged. Very, very good for, for outdoor trips. And now let's look at power outlets here. So it's got one AC power outlet there. And this AC power outlet can do continuous 200 watts as we discussed earlier. It's got two regular USB ports. So these are not fast charging ports or something. These are regular USB ports and it's got one cigarette charger port. You can charge four devices simultaneously with the Jackery 240. The Rock Pulse 200, again, it also has one single AC output and that is a 200 watt AC output. It's got a lot of USB ports. It's got two regular USB, the same as uh, the Jackery 240. On top of that, it's got one quick charge port. That blue port there is a quick charge USB that gives you faster charging than a regular USB. And finally, there's a USB-C 
port, which is the one at the bottom, small one. You can use this to charge laptops. It outputs a total of 30 watts, which is reasonable. There are two output outlets there, which is for DC 12 volt devices like your fans, car fr fridges, etc. You can power eight devices at one time with the, the Rock Pulse 200, the EcoFlow 288. It's got three AC outlets. All the other two had single AC outlets, two USB, one quick charging, the blue one, one USB-C, which is a hundred watts. So which means you can charge your laptop in, in half an hour, get it from zero to a hundred percent charge in half an hour, which is very good. It's got two 12 volts and a cigarette charger. You can power 10 devices simultaneously with the EcoFlow 288. In terms of a display, the Jackery has got a nice steady display with a battery indicating how much charge there is. And there are two indicators which show how much power is being input into the device. That means if you're charging it through solar or through the wall, how much power is being put into it and one showing how much power is being, being thrown out of the device or the output power. This is pretty much similar to the Rock Pulse 200. It's again got a battery showing charge charging capacity and then the input and the output. And again, it's a nice blue display. The EcoFlow 288 has got a more snazzy display. It's a more digital doesn't have a battery icon, but it's given the numbers in terms of percentages and inputs and outputs right there. It's pretty big and nice. In terms of how you charge the devices, the Jackery 240 can be charged in four ways. You can charge it using solar panels. Those are extra. If you buy them, you need a 60 watt solar panel with, uh, with the Jackery 240. The Jackery has their own brand of solar panels, but you could do some other brands also. Make sure that the outputs of the solar panels match the input requirements of the Jackery 240. You can charge it through the wall outlet to about 80% in, in fiber. Charging it through a car outlet, that's the cigarette charger outlet in your car while you're driving around to about 80% in about five hours. The Rock Pulse 240 50, you can charge it using a regular wall outlet. It also can be charged additionally using USB-C. If you use both the chargers at the same time and the, the USB-C charger is doesn't come in the kit, the Rock Pulse will get charged in about, will get charged in about three and a half hours. EcoFlow 288 can be charged again with solar panels and directly through a wall outlet. Where it scores heavily is, is that it's got extremely fast charging. It, it, it charges up to 80% in less than an hour. So among the three of them, this has got the fastest charging possible. In fact, they boast about it saying that the, the world's, they're the world's fastest charging power station. An additional extra feature, which is great for the EcoFlow 288, is you can add additional batteries. It comes with a 288 watt hour battery. You can add another 288 watt hour battery, doubling capacity to the unit to 576 watt hours. It's like adding an extra gas tank, so which is a big plus with this unit. Finally, let's look at a full comparison between the three of them and let's look at how much they cost too. So the Jackery 240 comes retails at about $199 today as of the date of this video. The Rock Balls is at about $189. The EcoFlow is at $349. If you look at the specifications and is the specifications, power, outlets, the EcoFlow 288 clearly is top of the line in the three of them, but then you're paying top dollar for it. If you're not looking at spending that much between the Rock Pulse and the 240, I would go with the Rock Pulse 200 because it's got a lot of additional USB outputs. Eight devices at one time using the Rock Pulse versus the four devices with the with the Jackery. But Jackery sometimes comes out with promotions. I recently saw one in which they put the price down to 149 bucks. The Jackery is a strong brand with very good customer service. You might want a better warranty, and better service than the Jackery 240 would be your choice. But if you're gonna be keeping your unit reasonably carefully, the Rock Pulse 200 is fine. I'm not saying their customer support is bad, but Jackery's is better. Overall, looking at the three of them, if I had the money, I would go for the EcoFlow 288 without question. If I plan to use the unit to charge a lot of devices simultaneously, the Rock Pulse 200 would be a better choice. Between the Jackery and the Rock Pulse, Jackery has slightly more capacity at 240 watt hours. The Jackery has a bigger tank of gas. That gives it one slight advantage with the 200, but it loses out in terms of the output. So overall, overall, all these three solar generators sell a boatload on the various sites. Amazon is the best place to get them. These prices are currently what I could find on Amazon. I hope you like this comparison video. Do like, share. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.